See, y'all can't tell me this planet ain't weird. Seriously, don't believe me? Just watch. There are many interesting things about our planet. It's the only planet in the solar system which is known to sustain life. And not just life, but intelligent life. Humans were smart enough to create the iconic cellular phone. These people were smart enough to use it to make our planet even more interesting. 20 strangest things people caught on their phones. A surfer's log. On a sunny day at a popular surf spot in Indonesia, a group of ladies gathered for a session in the water. The beach was in Batu Bolong, and despite a small swell, where the waves weren't exactly great for tubular riding, what they were- Anytime, oh, that was a perfect stop, I know. Anytime I see surfers out there swimming and, and doing all that they're doing in the water, man, I be looking for sharks. Anybody else, I just be trying to pan the screen looking for sharks. A small swell where the waves weren't exactly great for tubular riding. What they were pretty perfect for was classic logging. What's logging, you ask? Well, it's like riding a regular surfboard that's much longer. The long boards used for logging are generally over nine feet long and give a completely different feel and style than the more traditional style of surfing. And as the women paddled out, the tide was at an extreme low, but it quickly filled in allowing for some impressive rides that linked all the way to the inside. But unfortunately, the smooth conditions didn't last long, as the onshore wind picked up by late morning. What made this session particularly remarkable was what happened out of the water. An onlooker saw one of the women doing some particularly risque stretching. If it hadn't been caught on phone, nobody would have believed it. But thanks to the video footage, we can tell that she's actually wearing an orange bikini. If you didn't know any better, you might have mistaken this for a different kind of beach. But even with the many onlookers wonder- You know, I've still never been to one of those beaches. I mean, the time for me to go would have probably been in like my, my early 20s, you know what I mean? Late teens, early 20s, around them early college years. That would have been the time for me to like go to one of those beaches. But I don't even know, y'all know where those beaches are located? Put them in the comment section. And no, it's not going to tell a lot about you. Yes, it is. <laughs> During about the color of her suit, the woman and her surfer friends paid no mind to anything else other than riding some rocking waves. Maybe people should stick to logging and not as much staring. Fasten your seatbelts because it's time for today's sweet topic. If it hadn't been caught on a phone, nobody would have believed it. What and wouldn't that? you know it, this mystery beast was recently hauled out on the sea, despite looking like it's from outer space. But the truth is that deep sea divers discover new animal species pretty regularly in the deepest parts of the ocean. And on occasion, you regular everyday hardworking fishermen might end up with one of these freaky fish in your nets. It happens more than you think. Whether it's some sort of deep sea anglerfish or wabagong sharks, Earth's oceans are a collection of vast and varied ecosystems that remain largely a mystery to this day. Indeed. But y'all want to argue me that there's no aliens in the ocean. But we keep pulling stuff out of the water that look like that. Okay. All right. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, only about 5% of the world's seas has been explored. And yet, humankind has nevertheless uncovered a staggering array of sea animals that are as bizarre as they are beautiful. Have you come across anything like this exploring the ocean? Tell us about it in the comments. Make sure and I don't want to use hashtag sweet topic. A boop between friends. Animals being cute on the internet will never cease to attract a lot of attention. For one, they're cute animals. And two, they're doing something that's too perfect not to like, share, or leave a comment about. So imagine a picturesque landscape with crystal clear blue water, where a Dalmatian dog named Spotty is enjoying a swim. Then suddenly a fish pops up and decides to join in on the fun. Spotty, being the friendly doggo that he is, boops the fish on the nose to say hello. It's a classic dog custom after all. The fish, taken aback by Spotty's boop, decides to return the favor and boops Spotty back. Well, that would have been cute too. But in the actual video, they're both too startled to do anything other than back away from each other. Still, this exchange is so adorable that it's been getting plenty of attention online. 
for being so fun to watch. We can only assume they went off to plan their next adventure together in another video. The original clip of this unlikely friendship was shared on Spotty's Instagram, and it quickly went viral. It since garnered over 7.6 million views, which of course is no surprise considering how cute it is. Spotty the Dalmatian is based in Switzerland and has quite the following on social media. Its handle is fully dedicated to documenting the popular pup's day-to-day -day activities. But let's be real, it's moments like these, the unexpected, heartwarming, and adorable ones that make Spotty and other furry friends a true delight to watch. Cycling with Gas Here's a video with gas that doesn't actually use any. In a remarkable instance that was captured by a motorist in Sao Paulo, Brazil, we can see that a man is out cycling on the streets while balancing a gas canister on his head. The video shows the cyclist maintaining his balance with his heavy fuel bottle right up there on his noggin while pushing forward and even stopping at a junction without putting his foot down. It's great balance or just some amazing athleticism. Either way, the guy looks like it's not his first time pulling off such a risky feat. The I mean, I want to I want to sit here and say that's great talent. But then after that, I want to say, but why? Why are we doing this? Which has left viewers in awe of the man's impressive balancing skills. It's still unclear why the man was carrying the gas canister on his head in the first place. But the video has garnered attention from people all over the world. Many have taken to their favorite social media platforms to share their thoughts on the video, with some praising the cyclist's balancing abilities and others expressing concern for his safety. Despite the potential danger involved in such stunts, the cyclist in the video appears to be in complete control, demonstrating a level of skill that's truly impressive. Whether he was simply transporting the canister or using it for more elaborate purpose, the video is a testament to the incredible feats that humans are capable of achieving with a little bit of practice and determination. That's probably why so many people are watching it. Fish Friends In another instance of a funny animal being caught doing unusual things on the internet, this time there's a black swan surrounded by a school of koi fish in a serene river. The swan is seen gliding effortlessly through the water while the briefly colored koi fish swim around it in harmony. But in this more hard Did he just feed? They carried him over to which, which looks like food for them. He reaches in, scoops them out, and turns over and feeds them like they little baby birds, bro. Y'all trying to tell me this planet ain't weird? This planet is weird, bro. We're aliens at this point. Heartwarming video that's been making rounds on social media. Instead of the swan attacking or being attacked by the fish, things take a more wholesome turn. The video gets to be a truly delightful one as the black swan gracefully swims up to the small bridge where some onlookers out of view were probably standing and watching in awe. The swan then pulls out some food from a conveniently placed basket and starts feeding the hungry koi fish, who eagerly swim towards it to get a bite. That's crazy. The people who have seen this scene couldn't help themselves from providing some extra commentary. One person on Instagram said, this is like a Disney movie come to life. Well, now, that's something you have to record because nobody's actually going to believe you telling them that this took place. They're going to look at you like you're crazy. You got to record and get something like this on film so we can see it. Others stated, I can't believe how gentle and kind the swan is. It's especially heartwarming, although surprising to see how the black swan and the koi fish have formed such a close bond. The swan's act of kindness towards its fishy friends is nothing short of delightful. The video has since gone viral on social media, garnering thousands of views and comments from people all over the world. So the next time you're feeling down, take a few minutes to watch this video of the black swan and the koi fish. It's sure to put a smile on your face and warm your heart. Dodge a ball. Oh, dodgeball, the sport that can make or break your elementary school social status. But it's not just for the little ones anymore. In fact, high schoolers are getting in on the action and taking it to the next level. During a recent dodgeball game at a local high school, some kids pulled off a move that had everyone talking. When a ball was hurled their way, this kid didn't just duck or dodge. Nope, he did something much more impressive, a backflip. These kids were flipping and twisting their bodies midair just to avoid getting pegged by a ball. If it hadn't been caught on camera, nobody would have believed it. As you might imagine, 
The gym erupted in cheers and applause at these impressive moves. It was like watching a circus act. But instead of lions and elephants, we had teenagers doing acrobats. Of course, not everyone was impressed. Some grumpy old adults complained about safety and the risk of injury. But come on, where's the fun in playing it safe all the time? These kids were clearly having a blast and they were showing off some serious athleticism at the same time. In the end, it wasn't the team with the most points that won the game. No, it was the team with the most impressive backflips. Okay, we're just kidding, but it was definitely a highlight of the game and it's safe to say that these kids won the hearts of everyone watching. So, if you're ever playing dodgeball and need to avoid getting hit, take a page out of these kids' book and try doing a backflip. No, they're doing too much. Huh? I, I love a good game of dodgeball. I'm not doing all of that, bro. Don't take all of that. You know what I mean? I'm elusive enough. I I'm good enough. <laughs> I don't got to do all that. Just don't blame us no. if you end up on the receiving end of a ball instead. You've been warned, Ram. Doing that is going to have me in the ER. You know what I mean? And I'm a kid that used to be able to do. I haven't done. I still can do them. But I haven't done backflips in a long time. You know what I'm saying? So, no, I'm not doing that. ER visit. I, I can see it now. Pink dolphins. Have you ever heard of the pink dolphin? No, it's not a mythical no. creature from a fairy tale, but a real life animal that actually exists. Yeah, it's 100% confirmed that pink dolphins do exist and sightings really? of these beautiful creatures have been reported in various parts of the world. These adorable creatures are a rare species of freshwater dolphins and they're known as Chinese white dolphins, Indo-Pacific humpback dolphins and Gangs river dolphins. They get their rare unique pink hue from blood vessels that are closer to the surface of their skin, which are more visible in warmer water. People have been going crazy trying to spot these magical creatures in the wild. In some areas where pink dolphins are known to exist, there are companies that even offer specialized tours just to catch a glimpse of them. But even if you don't go on a private tour, you could still spot a pink dolphin in the wild. These creatures have been seen in various countries, including China, India, and Brazil. I'm thinking science experiment gone wrong, some type of laboratory experiment going wrong so like could be possibly have been trying to make a crossbreed or something i don't know maybe a, a, a dolphin and and a megalodon whatever it is it went wrong that's what i'm thinking <laughs> swimming and playing in rivers and estuaries and guess what you don't even have to be a marine biologist to catch a glimpse of these cute creatures just keep your eyes peeled when you're near freshwater rivers in the right place and you could be lucky but just because they're cute doesn't mean they should be messed with. Like all wild animals, it's important to respect their space and not disturb them in their natural habitats. And if you're lucky enough to spot a pink dolphin, make sure to snap a photo. If you tell anyone about it without proof, they might think you're making it up. After all, who's ever heard of a pink dolphin? Learning like a baby elephant. Are you ready for some serious cuteness overload? A viral video has been seen making its rounds on Twitter, showcasing a baby elephant learning how to control its trunk. The video shows the adorable elephant swinging its trunk like a helicopter on a turbine fan. Well, All I can think about is P.D. Pablo right now, you know what I mean? North Carolina, take your shirt off, flip it around your head, swing it like a helicopter. Maybe he grew up listening to P.D. Pablo or something like that. I don't know, man. While some nearby birds seem to be joining in on the fun. With over 38 million views, this video is proof that baby elephants are just as clumsy as we are when we're learning a new skill. Talk about relatable. According to National Geographic, the explanation is that this behavior is common among young elephant calves as they haven't really learned how to properly use or control their trunks. Elephant expert Joyce Poole adds that this behavior could be a type of displacement behavior where elephants are uncertain about the social dynamics around them and try to cope by swinging their feet and twisting their trunks. Another user shared a video. Nah, man, somebody got to take this video and put Petey Pablo's song to it, man. I'm it's going to go viral. You know what I mean? It, it's going to go viral. Just, just tag me in it, man, and, and give me my credit. That's it. He filmed 10 years ago of a baby elephant attempting to control its trunk and feeling proud when it finally managed to pluck a piece of grass. To be fair, that's a pretty nice skill. 
According to the ranger's blog at South Africa's Tenswalo Safari Lodge, baby elephants stick their trunks in their mouths just like when human babies suck on their thumbs. With over 50,000 individual muscle units in the trunk, it's no surprise that controlling it is a complex skill to learn. However, by the time they're a year old, baby elephants can control their trunks pretty well, just like their adult counterparts. So let's take a moment to appreciate these adorable baby elephants and their clumsy yet endearing attempts at learning a new skill. Water Rider The internet is no stranger to viral videos of motorists pulling off dangerous stunts, but this might take the cake. The latest clip to make waves online features a biker riding his motorcycle over a body of water. The video, shared on Twitter by Motor Octane, shows the rider wearing a helmet as he rides along. He definitely has an air of confidence as he takes off and rides his bike over what appears to be a wooden plank before casually making his way around a bridge on the water. The clip has since gone viral, racking up over 520,000 views. Yeah, but it's shallow there. You can kind of see it a little bit. That looks extremely shallow. Wait, like even from afar when he was driving that way, it looked like he was riding on something. And interestingly enough, sparking a debate about safety. While some viewers applaud the rider's ingenuity, others expressed concern over the risks involved. One Twitter user speculated that the biker must have had planned the route as the area had a path built for material transportation. Another user praised the rider's calculated risk, while a third raised the question of what would happen if water entered the engine through the exhaust. While the location of the incident remains unknown, it's clear that the video has captured the attention of viewers worldwide. While some may see this clip as a testament to the rider's bravery and resourcefulness, others may view it as a reminder of the importance of safety and caution when it comes to taking risks on the road. Regardless of one's opinion, there's no denying the awe-inspiring nature of the stunt, and it's likely to be a topic of discussion for some time to come. Baby bath time. Feeling down in the dumps? Need a pick-me-up that can make you smile? Then look no further than this heartwarming video of a baby elephant taking a bath. The video, which has been seen and shared and retweeted around different parts of Twitter, is practically guaranteed to melt your heart and leave you feeling all warm and fuzzy inside. An officer at IFS named Susanta Nanda was one of many that shared the video and commented on Twitter. Watching this baby elephant enjoying its bath is so much fun. And fun it is indeed. The video shows the little elephant happily splashing around in a bright blue bathtub filled with water. As the video continues, the baby elephant even fully submerges itself into the water, clearly having the time of its life. It's just like, it's like some kids, my kids when they were younger, in the bathtub, water all over the floor because they just in there having a good time. <laughs> Surprisingly, the video has garnered a ton of love from animal lovers all over the internet. So cute, wrote one Twitter user, while another added, so lovely to watch, thank you for sharing. One user even commented on how joyful and playful babies are, while another simply remarked on how delightful it is to see elephants, especially baby ones. So if you're in need of a mood boost, take a few minutes to watch this adorable video of a baby elephant enjoying its bath time. These be the type of videos that get your mind off of the madness that's going on in the world. Promise you, bro, it'll, for a split second, you'll forget about it. We promise it'll make you smile and forget all about your troubles, at Relax. least for a little while. And sometimes, that's all you really need. Butterfly Salt Party Have you ever seen butterflies collecting salts? It turns out that these beautiful insects are more than just eye candy, and they can be quite the little salt enthusiasts. A recent video shared on Twitter shows a group of black butterflies mud puddling, or in layman's terms, gathering salts from a small muddy puddle. Who knew there was a term for that? Besides salt and butterfly enthusiasts, we mean. But the rest of the internet is absolutely loving it. According to the original tweet, this behavior is mostly done by male butterflies to attract females through collecting pheromones and salts from small pools of water, dung, or mud. But when you get right down to it, the situation just looks like a bunch of butterflies having a pool party. Who said insects can't kick back and enjoy nature in their own way? The tweet has gone viral with over 110,000 views and people can't get enough of the beauty of nature. One Twitter user marveled at how Mother Earth created such simple yet beautiful parts of nature, while another was amazed by the new information, exclaiming, wow, never heard this before. 
Another one shared a similar experience, saying they saw a group of blue butterflies doing the same thing near an elephant poop pile in Rishikesh. Apparently, butterfly mud puddling and observing is a more popular activity than we ever imagined. And in a world filled with stress and negativity around every Twitter thread or news channel, it's always refreshing to take a step back and appreciate the wonders of nature. And if that means watching butterflies gather salts in a puddle, count us in, giant fireworks show. Are you a fan of fireworks? If the answer is yes, then you might want to know about the biggest fire. I mean, going to a fireworks display, absolutely. Me doing the fireworks, no, nah, no. Nah. Had a bad experience, almost lost a few of these. Yep, ever since then, I've been like, nope. Uh, that was my one chance, and it, it it spared me my fingers. After that, I said, I'll never do again. You know what I mean? So it has to be, it can't be those ones you light in your hand. If I can use like a lighter from a distance a little bit and light them back up, then I'm cool. I'll do those. But something lighting in your hand and throwing, never again. Never again. A work show in Kerala, India. The annual event takes place during the Onam Festival. Wow which is one of the biggest festivals in the state. The fireworks show is so huge that it attracts thousands of people from all over the world who come to witness the spectacular display of light and sound. It really is a sight to behold. The festival is a unique blend of culture, tradition, and entertainment, but the real highlight of the show is undoubtedly the fireworks. The festival also includes a boat race, which adds to the excitement of the already vibrant event. People who have attended the event in the past have described it as a once-in-a-lifetime experience. The firework display is nothing short of breathtaking, and the sounds of the explosions reverberate across the river and the surrounding hills. If you ever find yourself in Kerala during the Onam festival, which would be quite the coincidence, just be sure to check out the Athrapilli Valamakali and witness the biggest fireworks show in the entire state. And if you can't make it, don't worry you can still enjoy the thrill of fireworks from the comfort of your own home by watching videos of the event online. Either way, you're in for a treat. Stone Keyboard Norwich is a beautiful city in England that's full of surprises. One of the major ones would probably be considered a rather strange imprint on the pavement that you might have walked past without even noticing. On the surface, it just looks like a collection of stones and lines. But can you see what it really looks like? If you guessed a keyboard, you wouldn't be alone. The site is located at the corner of Princess Street and Elm Hill, and many researchers, as well as your average tourist, has said that this mysterious imprint looks a lot like a modern-day computer keyboard. While some people believe that it's an 18th century print plate from a monastery, others think that it's a futuristic prediction. So, what's the real story behind the weird pavement print? According to Nostalgia Nerd, a YouTuber who specializes in retro technology, the keyboard was actually created by a Norwich University of the Art student named Molly Soul. For her final art project, she made a mold of an old computer and created porcelain casts that she then bent into strange shapes. To make the keyboard imprint, she simply pressed her mold into a patch of wet concrete that she found on the street. The story behind the keyboard has been the subject of many myths and legends. Some believe that the keyboard fell from a vehicle into wet cement, but this is unlikely since the imprint is not reversed. Despite the various theories surrounding the imprint, one thing is certain. It's a quirky and fun sight to see. Be stunned. Imagine finding that as a kid. That would have kept me occupied for hours. Hours. <laughs> I mean, my mom would have loved that. Sit me down in front of that. I played, figured out all kind of games to play with that. Have you ever struggled to remove a nail from a wall? You tug and pull until your fingers ache, and you wonder why you ever decided to hang that painting in the first place. Well, next time you find yourself in that situation, think of this tiny yet mighty mason bee. Recently, a video surfaced showing a blue-black metallic mason bee hard at work in England. The bee was determined to remove a long nail from a brick wall, and against all odds, it succeeded. The nail was firmly wedged in, but the critter quickly dislodged it with ease. The amazed onlooker recording the scene cheered the bee on as it burrowed into the wall and pushed out the nail. The bee took a brief break, but soon returned to finish the task at hand. And finally, the spike slipped entirely from the hole. Mason bees are so named for their peculiar nest building habits, which their labor appears to be preparation for. They usually choose existing holes rather than excavating their own. It's suspected that the nail was placed in a nest hole this bee had already started using, 
which would explain its urgency to remove the nail. While mason bees don't produce honey like their famous bumbly counterparts, they're actually a perfect addition to a garden as they rarely sting. Families, females will only sting when trapped or squeezed and the males don't even have a stinger. There are over th Even that bee is more of a carpenter than me. That's, that's sad for me, bro. I just don't have it. I, I just ain't got it in me. Mm -mm. 300 species of mason bees across the Northern Hemisphere with over 130 in North America. So the next time you're struggling to pull out a nail, just remember the little mason bee and its impressive determination. If it can do it, so can you. A ghost story. Have you ever had a spooky experience in your own home? Well, one Twitter user definitely has. In a recent video post, they recorded what appears to be a ghostly presence making laughing sounds and knocking on their door. The video begins innocently enough with the user casually walking through their home, explaining to the camera how they have kept hearing strange noises. But just as they reach their front door, something bizarre happens. A sudden knocking sound can be heard and the user is definitely stunned and shocked. But that's not all. The knocking is quickly followed by a creepy laughter sound that's just outside the door. You can tell without even looking at the user's face just how terrified they are, but no one seems to be coming to their rescue. They're still clearly frightened by what's happening, but it doesn't seem like anyone was on their way to the rescue. Who could be the real culprit? Is it really a ghost haunting their own living room? Or maybe it's all just a stunt for some quick and easy Twitter clout. But if it was, it did seem to work. The video didn't take long to go viral on Twitter, with many users commending the user for their sense of humor and the unexpected twist. Some even shared their own stories of pets causing spooky scares in their own homes. While the idea of a ghost making creepy sounds and knocking on doors can be unsettling, it's good to know that sometimes there's a simple and easy explanation. Give it some time and maybe all of us will find our own little ghosts in our homes, just hiding away out of plain sight. The dog system. Whether you're in a good or foul mood, it's always great to find something that will cheer you up. And in that case, look no further than this heartwarming video of a dog exchanging random things for treats from his neighbor. The dog, named Nuna, brings everything from empty toothpaste packets to dry leaves and stones to his neighbor in exchange for a tasty treat. Can't tell me animals and dogs. You just can't tell me dogs ain't smart, bro. And animals are smart. Like, that is just... He figured out a way to get what he need, and whatever he got to do to get it, he doing it. <laughs> it seems like they really have this bartering thing down pretty well. Right. The video, which was posted back in February, has since gone viral, accumulating over 370,000 likes and a huge amount of heartwarming comments. In it, Nuna can be dog like, hey, that's all I got today, man. What can you do for me? I got a leaf. Seen standing outside his neighbor's house with an empty toothpaste packet in his mouth, waiting patiently for his treat. Once he's received his reward, he eagerly trots off to find his next gift to exchange. It's like a never-ending cycle of junk and snacks. But even so, the cute factor alone has touched the hearts of many, with one viewer even admitting to crying while watching it. Another expressed their love for Nuna and their desire to adopt him, while some others simply couldn't get enough of the cute pup's adorable antics. So, if you're feeling down and in need of a pick-me-up, look no further than this video of Nuna the dog and prepare to be filled with warm and fuzzy feelings. Can you imagine him just strolling down the street every day just looking for things to take to his friend? Like, ah, I gotta find something today. <laughs> I guess I don't have nothing. Oh, a leaf. Elephant saves the day. Sometimes we come across videos that make us go, aw, or wow. And this video of a mother elephant protecting her baby from a crocodile is definitely a wow moment. The video was shared on Twitter by Susanta Nanda, an Indian forest, an Indian forest service officer, and it shows the extent to which a mother elephant will go to protect her calf. The video starts with a baby elephant having a splash in a muddy pool, with the mother keeping a watchful eye on her baby. Suddenly, a massive crocodile appears from under the water and tries to attack the calf. The mother elephant immediately springs into action and launches an attack on the crocodile. That crocodile won no parts of that elephant. You seen him? He was like, all right, man, I'm going, I'm going. I'm just minding my business. Using her enormous weight to stomp on the reptile and force it to run away. Mr. Nanda shared the video and captioned it with the extent to which elephants go to protect their calves is mind boggling. Here's a small incident. The crocodile had to surrender and boy, did it ever surrender. 
The video has since gone viral, amassing close to 51,000 views and over 1,300 likes. Internet users hailed the elephant's courage, with many calling the mother the omnipresent protector. One user said, mother's protective instinct in action. Another said, intelligent, gentle, emotional beings. It's amazing to see the strength and determination of a mother's love, not just in humans, but in animals too. It's a, it's a beautiful thing to see, man. A beautiful sight to behold. I promise you, bro. <laughs> and if you don't have kids and you do have kids one day, you'll understand what they're talking about, bro. It's just, in, you do it instinctively. It just happens. You know what I'm saying? But y'all get at me in the comment section. Let me know what you think, man. I told y'all this world is crazy, but we're going to continue to explore it. All right. Till next one, I'm gone. Peace.